Hello everyone and welcome to Butterfly Dreams Crochet. My name is Jeannie and today is November the 4th, 2021. Got a couple of things in the mail today. One is Happy Mail. One is uh, Mary Maxim Kit. I'm going to do both of them together. Um, I want to do the Happy Mail first since it's Happy Mail. But let me welcome all of my new butterflies that have came over and subscribed to my channel. Thank y'all so much. I really, really do appreciate it. And for all my returning ones, thank y'all so much. Now this happy mail comes from Miss Doris from the Rose Cottage Studio. I've already opened it so I wouldn't have so much rattling. I know some people don't like the crinkling, but I honestly love it. But... You know, I know some people listen with their earphones in, so. But, um, thank you, Ms. Doris, for this happy mail. Whatever it is, I will greatly appreciate it. And I will use it, whatever it is. So, this is the package. Let's see what we got. Let me, I'm going to first fill for a card. I don't feel a card. She did put me a smiley face on the address label though. And before I show y'all that, let me just give some little information to my newbies. This is my crochet dungeon. This is where all of the fun stuff happens with yarn. I also go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where we have butterfly craft along where we start something and we finish it and this Tuesday that just passed we made the chunky chunky hat by Veronica from Stills of Show Crochet and Chefs she does have a tutorial on her channel for this hat make sure to go check it out I'll leave it in the description box down below I love these hats they are a perfect perfect fit. I actually need to have one on now because it's cold in here <laughs> to me. Normally I have hot flashes. Right now I'm having a cold flash. I've actually made several of these hats. This is made, this was made with hometown, line brand hometown yarn in Aspen Tweed. This was made with Premier Serenity Chunky in the color jelly bean it's 109 yards per skein and I had this much left and I absolutely love this one hey it kind of matches my shirt wow <laughs> so yes I love these hats they are a perfect fit but this is the one we made on my live Tuesday and I will link it down below too because you can always go back and watch it now I also am part of the Yarny Fiber Sisters which includes Veronica from Seal Show Crochet and Shells Melissa with Melissa Crochets with Love and myself we go live every Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so, um, this Saturday we'll be at Melissa's house and we will be bringing y'all different sparkle yarns. How do they crochet? Are they scratchy? Do they irritate you? And what happens with the tinsel that they have wrapped around the yarn once you wash it and stuff? So you don't want, you might not want to miss that one. Join me in Saturday. Um, I'm getting a date. November the 6th. I should have knew that date because that's my, our daughter's birthday. So, make sure to join us Saturday at 6 p.m. and learn about some sparkle yarns. Which ones we like, which ones we don't, and why we do, and why we don't. Which ones are better for garments and which ones are not. So, yes. So we hope to see y'all Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope to see y'all on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. 
Come on along and let's make something together. Okay, what I got was some twisted cotton blend from Lime Brand. I got two packs of the same color. Ooh. I'll give y'all the specs on it. It's made in China. This is blue and ecru color. It's a bulky five, machine washable and dryable. It is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 98 yards or 90 meters. It is 69% cotton and 31% acrylic. They recommend a size 10 or 6 millimeter knitting needle and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So thank you, Miss Doris. Um, I will be making Dana from Day's Crochet's market bag that she did using this yarn and the ecru color of, of the peaches and cream. So thank you. Ms. Doris is real sweet, y'all. Um, now YouTube has it to where once you reach 500 subs, whether you have content or not, you get a community tab. So, a community tab helps out because you can share other people's videos. You can do inspirational quotes. You can do motivational quotes on there and everything else. You don't have to have content and they give you a community tab. So, we got Miss Doris well over her 500. So, thank you Miss Doris for all of the happy mail and thank you for your continual support not just to my channel but other channels abroad too. Thank you very much. You are so, so sweet. Now we'll see what I got in Mary Maxim. Ooh. Got a crocheted slipper pattern, I see. Look. Let's take it out. And I like these little bags that they send the yarn in. I tend to keep them. <laughs> Oh, this is soft. Wow. It's called Babe. Or maybe Baby. Soft cotton worsted. Euro Baby. Never seen or heard of this yarn. Made in China for Euro yarns. www.knittingfever.com and I got some of their guys of cotton over there. I'm going to have to look them up. The color of this is picture perfect. And color number 113. It is 55% acrylic, 45% cotton. You get 3.52 ounces, 100 grams, 246 yards, or 225 meters. It's machine washable and dryable. Do not iron. Um, recommended knitting needles is 4.5 and recommended crochet hook is a 5.5 to a 6.5. And that's what it looks like. Pretty colors. And it is, y'all, it's soft. There we go. It is soft. So let's look at the pattern. Because I got this little red heart croquette too. Right here. Which is 1.5 ounces, 45 grams, 239 yards, or 219 meters. Um recommends 3.75 millimeter crochet hook two balls to make that scarf that they show right there and I don't know if it's going to focus just on it right there 
Tide Pool is the colorway. It sparkles. And it's a number one, super fine number one, 92% cotton, 5% polyester, and 3% other fibers. So let's see what they sent for that. Moogly. Ooh, they sent a, a Tamara Kelly from Moogly pattern. Oh, one ball will make this scarf. That is beautiful. I'm actually going to do that. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Absolutely gorgeous. And for the cotton acrylic, a beanie and a pair of slippers. Ooh, I like those slippers right there I'm trying to show y'all without showing any of the pattern and then that's the beanie I ain't too crazy about the beanie it looks wavy across the top nah but I'll definitely look at making these slippers I like those Let's see, it's got some front post double crochets on them. Yep. Okay. So I got four skeins of this. I guess that'd be enough to make the slippers and the beanie. And one of these to make the scarf. And I'm going to leave that out. So that's my little happy mail. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will talk to y'all in a little bit because I got some more to record. And um, I hope y'all have a great night. And I will, if I don't see y'all in the YouTube streets, which I will, I'll see y'all between now and Saturday. But if not, I will definitely see y'all Saturday, 6 p.m. Maybe I should do 5 and see. <laughs> 6. 6 p.m. 6, 6, 6. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, always be kind, be sweet, and always smile. See y'all later. Bye-bye.